Hey, Tiana here, Mind Body Movement Center. I wanted to show a version of using the Pro Stretch, if you've got this calf stretcher. Um, one thing to note is that you don't need this to stretch your calves. That's the first thing I wanna note. But if you happen to have one and you want just a little bit of variety, um, here's some um, ways that I've been using it. I do recommend using a shoe with this. It does not feel good, at least on my heel, to have it pressed into the back hard spot, so I always wear my shoes with this. So I'm gonna face off camera now, but set that down. So the first way is the way you've probably always used it. Clip your heel in there and you're going straight forward. And then you can have something, if you're not tall enough to, to support your other foot, you could have a a block or sometimes I just use the leg of the bike to support it so that way you're not just hanging into that back of that leg and you can kind of play with straightening it or having it a little bit bent will give you a little bit more stretch down lower into the soleus so if you have it a little bit bent versus if you straighten it out and just watch if you're really hyper extending through that back leg I'm not right now but if you're really hyper extending you probably don't need to be stretching in this way. All right, all right, so that's the first version. You've probably already done that before, straight forward. And then the next is just to tilt the foot. So you're pivoting on the heel so that the foot is angling outward and then settle back into that and support it that way. So you're gonna get a little bit more stretch through the inner calf, maybe even a little bit to the outer, just in different ways, depending on where you're tight. All right, and then you're holding there. Having support is really nice so that you're not just hanging onto that leg with nothing underneath. All right, the third and the final is to pivot the opposite direction. So plant the heel and now the toes are angling out towards the inside and then let it rock back, support the other foot, and then you're holding there. It's always important to breathe, relax the other aspects of your body so you're not forcing anything. Great. And of course, do the other side. So just some versions to take into account when you're using that pro stretch if you're getting bored of the straight up version. All right, see you next time. Peace in.